Welcome to MDISGT, the Multidisciplinary Integrated Design System for Gas Turbines. In this instructional video, we will review the steps to create a complete turbofan fan stage. Let us start by opening an existing turbofan design and initialize the preliminary performance using step 1. Once the performance analysis has been executed, let us verify that we don't have any solution issues. Click on the TP button to reveal the performance calculation. Let us now open Step 2 Design Point Analysis. We will navigate to the fan stage. For MDGT nomenclature, the fan stage will reside on spool 1. What we currently have in this example is a basic rotor stator stage configuration. We wish to add a strut that will be in the bypass gas path, and we would like to split the stator such that there is a stator in the core gas path and a stator in the bypass gas path. First, let us add a strut by selecting the has strut option found in the stage options panel. Click on the red check mark to accept the changes. On doing so, we have added a strut to the fan stage. Now, convert the strut to a bypass strut by selecting the bypass strut option in the strut geometry panel. Click on the red check mark to accept the changes. Modify the strut hub airfoil corner points by dragging the yellow circles to roughly the mid-radius of the rotor. Now, let us split the stator. Select the Has Split Stator option found in the Stage Options panel and click the red check mark to accept the changes. In doing so, MDISGT will use the strut corner point values to initialize the bypass stator airfoil corner points. Additionally, MDISGT will use the proceeding compressor stage first airfoil corner points to modify the core stator corner points. In the bypass stator panel, enter a value for the bypass percent reaction and click on the red check mark to accept the changes. Modify the various mainline parameters such as airfoil corner points, airfoil count, axial cords, axial gaps, and the other available parameters to represent the desired design point condition and geometry. Do not forget to click on the various red check marks to accept the changes. When done changing the design, press on the Mainline Model Solver button to obtain the Mainline Model solution. Use the various viewing options to review the Mainline Model results. In the next video, we will use MDISGT to create the import files for an ANSYS TurboGrid and CFX CFD simulation analysis.